Hey, Bone here. <laughs> We're back. Drake here. Oh. I I'm just bone. wanted to see how long I could be silent and see how long before you would just jump in. It didn't take long. No. It didn't take long at all. There's two hoodies, three cats. Um, um, this was suggested by multiple people because people in the Ren comments just like to leave just like a laundry list of tracks. So We love it. Yeah, so Sick Boy. I don't know. But it looks vaguely familiar. It's not the same backing. It looks very much like the higher end video Start did, except for the room is a little different. He's not in a wheelchair. He's not in a uh, medical smock or whatever. But uh, we're going to get right into this. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, hi, I'm Drake. This is Bone. We are two hoodies and there are three cats. There's actually a fourth cat running around, but when the channel started, there was only three cats. So, it's two hoodies, three cats. And uh, if you have anything you want us to react to, just comment below. It doesn't have to be Ren. It can be anything. We'll react to it. And uh, we'll let you know what, you th what we think. And in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for being here. And do uh, you got anything to add to that? Let's get on. Let's get to it. Let's do it. This is Ren Sick Boy. Hi Ren, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Is that too loud for you? No. Okay. You're like, no, not at all. Sorry, back that up again. That was unexpected. <laughs> Hi Ren, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is moving. Did she say your mind is making That's music? That's what she said. Okay. I didn't know what's interesting about the music. Is it seems to me that the music is In meant his to head. mimic the fact that it's very hard to even think, let alone listen to someone else think out loud. Like I get the feeling that, that he's having that going on in his yeah. head while she's yeah. Okay, that's what I was. And then up apparently to. she's not believe. They're not believing him. Sick boy, what a name! I'm backing it up again. Sorry guys, but. <laughs> Bear with us. Hi, Ren. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is making Post a boy, pass out. White noise, quick fix, snake oil. I'm about to break, boy. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Derealization, medical patient. Losing patience with the process. Walking hand in hand with Satan. Compl okay, that is crazy. Oh, we, we, I think it was you and I, we did a, it was one of the Ren tracks, I think, where we talked about hyperactivity, ADHD, and, and Ritalin, and all this stuff, and the fact that the answer is medicate. Yeah. Medicate, 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 medicate. And then, like, my mom, my mom died a year ago, New Year's Eve. Um, she died from kidney failure. But before that, she had had a couple hip replacements. And on her first hip replacement, the painkillers they gave her were obviously a type of opioid that she became addicted to. And she strung out wanting to take these for as long as possible. She got through the rehab and got through all that. She also had both knees replaced. 
And uh, over the, the surgeries for the knees and the hips, she became dependent on opioids. Um, and she was 76, I think, when she passed away, or was she older than that? 70, I, I can't remember, I gotta. Anyway, the, the point here was, she had a doctor for high blood pressure. She had a doctor for her kidneys. She had a doctor for this and that. And she would go to all these doctors and they would just prescribe what she needed for that symptom they were dealing and it had side effects. So she started having like all these psychotic issues where she would hear things that weren't there and she would she would have all convulsions and my brother would have to go over there and take her to the hospital and do all this stuff. And finally he went through the medicine cabinet. He's looking at all these drugs and reading all about all these and all the side effects were all the symptoms that she was having. So it wasn't even helping her with the things that were, she was supposed to be, but it was creating all kinds of new problems for her, and it helped just totally destroy her kidneys, her one kidney even faster, because she was on dialysis. But it was like, it just hurried her along down the trail of getting her dead. But uh, watching this and listening to her, this doctor or this nurse or whatever this person is that's talking to him, talking about, here's some pills, take these, and the side effects are going to make you even worse. And I'm just immediately thought about the crap that my brother and I went through with my mom for like a year. I'm sure you remember that. All the, just the stress of dealing with my brother and my brother's like having to deal with it and I'm like half a country away and it's just, that really hits home. And just the whole process of it. And I know that's just one side of it. You have people that are addicted to prescription medication or Xanax or they're doing actual heavy drugs or whatever, and they have side effects there that cause all kinds of other problems. So it's not just prescription, but because this is the doctor actually pushing a prescription over there and then talks about side effects, I just... It, yeah, well, it's, it's interesting, though, that he, from his perspective, he's showing what the doctor means, not actually what the doctor is saying. Right. I mean, they don't offer that stuff. So they never give the real that information. About it. Yeah, they'll just say, this is what you're going to do. And the, the fine print. Well, it's a unique situation we find ourselves in, you know, after, you know, 150 years of pharma, the, the dark disease that is pharmacy. But, you know, before the pharmacy, you know, the life expectancy was a lot lower. And so there's this, and there's got to be a balance. But this terrible, I mean, man, come on. It's like, you can see, like, if you heard, like, whenever, after the breakdown, whenever she's, She's talking, and it's like you can hear these girls singing in the background. Yeah. And it was so far away. It's like you can imagine someone being in a sick state of mind where they're kind of in and out of sleep. You can hear people having fun in the schoolyard or maybe in the outside. Yeah. You can hear, but you can't really tell what's going on. And it's almost like it's just all this stuff going on yeah. in your head. Um, Gypsy and I did a... He's doing a real great job of kind of recreating what it's like to be... Gypsy and I did a reaction to a Megadeth um, Sweating Bullets. Have you ever heard that yeah. song? Yeah about the where it's like almost like it's not split per, split personality but it's like you have so much going on in your head and you're so it's like fever dream oh man it's crazy all right let's get back into this unless you had more to go on no, that's fine all right let me back it up just a little bit that was eerie weird and i'm sorry i didn't mean to go on a rant on that or but it's just all oh. yes okay here we go First when the side effects will show Derealization, medical patient Losing patience with the process Walking hand in hand with Satan Complications with the medication Information, dehydration, inhalation Aggravation, building up a toleration Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground I've been screaming, I've been shouting But I never make a sound I've been looking for a way out But I always seem to drown Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so Good what I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus, hypocrite. How can you sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a 
fix, boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick, boy. Record label meetings to come on the fire, gift, boy. Why you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people evolve, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence is like profound wow wow so yeah we were on the right track there um that was crazy um in fact i'm gonna go back to where he destroys the room yeah right i wouldn't say it's destroyed i think he's just messing it up a little bit it's just a little he's showing the up. room for what it really is yeah man that was and the so in the high end track when he when he gets brought in by the wheelchair, there's the person that brings him in is wearing that, that pig mask, brings him in with the pig mask on and then walks away. And it's, I think that is the, I could be wrong here, but I think that represents just the whole pharma where they, you're just a number. Like there was a, uh, we did the system. No, we did a brainwashed by Tom McDonald. And he's in there going, you know, Big big Pharma doesn't want to cure you, dog. Uh, I think that's the way the line goes. Big Pharma doesn't want to cure you, dog, because every, every patient cured is a customer lost. Right. So they, they want, they need the repeat, they want the money. Because they make the drugs for almost nothing and charge millions of dollars. They make so much money off drugs and with right. the insurance scams. Well, I, I, so I, it's almost like that that mask is representing just this evil, like, horrified, like, this swine-like system. Right. It, it's the beastly nature of the system. If you think right. about a, a, a pig, and it, it's like they don't give much thought. I mean, there's pleasure, there's pain, and there's food, and that's it. And so, and even just, though there's this just taking this big and like monolith, says, that, there's a big monolith that is the, is the system, the corporate system. There's still this meat grinder below it that's operating with impunity, and they yeah. just do, it's, and they are and they're believers. Even he, though they, they might go home, they don't think about the people that. And are. he goes on that rant where he's like, "I'm a sick boy. I'm a sick boy. Did we consume? We consume this, this, this. It's all just." It's, it ties into those money game videos that I did that they're wanting us to do as one big right. crew, which we're going to do. We just got to block off the right amount of time to do all three at one shot. So I want to watch that last part again because that was so fast. I was like, it's like um, sensory overload. Yeah, I think that pigs and humans are, I don't know, yeah. three to seven. Uh, I don't know if it's molecules, genetic points, whatever it is. It's like... They're, as Close. gold is to lead, yeah. pigs are to people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Dead, we are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus, hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pig boy. Record label meetings that come on the fire, your gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? No, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people evolve, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence is like a behold. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for wealth, we bleed it for fame. But when you bleed it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? And I'm bleeding myself. I bleed in my brain while I'm bleeding. I'm the reason because I'm doing the same. Say we're all guilty of it. I think that pig, if you look even a little bit closer, yeah, and, it's a uh, butcher. And then when he's like, we're bleeding, I'm bleeding myself. What's the, the point of it? The point of it is we are just pieces. We're just pawns that they want to just. Right. But, but a lot away. of times we're the ones controlling the pawns. And those pawns are, are ourselves sometimes. But we are the pawns. Yeah. Man, that was a great track. And if we're way off base, please <coughs> fill it in below. And no, I, I, think it's, I think he's pointing out a flaw 
in the system as far as people are concerned, and he's admitting that he is also flawed in that as far as the same system. But well, we're all concerned. stuck. We're, Nobody's he's, perfect. He made a point in one of the Money Game videos that I watched that you know we're all in this. We're, we're in it, and with, short of just changing everything. <laughs> We're in it, and we're, we got to kind of to make the best of the situation we're in, but we are all we all contribute in one way or another, whether we want to or not. Um, this is pretty awesome. Another track by Ren that's just incredible. Um, thank you, guys. I, I can't remember who suggested this. Um, I apologize. I got to get better at giving shout-outs to all of you guys that when you make it, when we play a song that you, you, uh, suggested what i might do is i might go back to where the comment was and then post a comment under this track and give you props for for it so look for that and uh keep keep commenting and if you're new like comment subscribe and uh keep suggesting stuff um so far everything you guys have done has been great hold on is still you still on yeah yeah i think that another point would be that you know, consider that when someone's suffering, that maybe push yourself in their shoes because if you don't, you might end up going through the same thing. Empathy is one of those things that we all we all fall short on and we don't think about it because we get so caught up in what we need to do and what we need to get our little problems and our little situation under control that sometimes we forget that everybody around us is going through the same problems. Right. And for those of you who don't have it, learn about it. Yeah. You can um, learn to do it even if you don't feel it. And the best thing to do is surround yourself with a, with a decent support group of people that actually care and they're actually your, that have your best interest in mind. And you can generally figure it out pretty quick. So hopefully. Right. Anyway. Holla. Drake and Bone out. We'll catch you guys on the next, next video. Thanks for being here.